What's going on ladies and gentlemen, this is Demo Storm back with Ark with Dax Warren and today we're flying over to the lava cave We need a dung beetle or two um, Along with any other creatures that could be in the caves and uh, we're there's gonna... a cave place though that might have them Yeah, but I like the lava cave. It's a little bit more manageable. <laughs> I mean the cave by um, Stonehenge isn't that hard. No, that's true. Let's go to that one. It's closer less flying I'm sure the viewers would appreciate not as much flying. Oh man, dude! But my art, my I'm I'm gonna start putting some anecdotes in these videos of me just talking about things that piss me off. Um, the new thing that's pissing me off is people walking around texting. Scares the crap out of me. Literally, a girl was walking up the stairs the other day on the wrong side. By the way, you go you go down the right side, you go up the right side. That way, you don't walk into people. This girl's texting, holding onto the railing, going up the left side. Walking at a pace about, you know, a step every minute. So, as she's going up, she's never looking up. I'm on the right side. I just stop walking. I just stop moving because I'm not going to, like, get thrown down the stairs trying to go into people, like, hundreds of people going up the other side at a normal pace getting to their classes. So, I just stand there. She looks up, drops her phone down every single stair. What the hell? Pay attention to what you're doing in life. Like, seriously, this is this is why you don't text and drive. If you can't walk and text, how the hell are people supposed to be texting and driving? Like, that scares the crap out of me. And I've been rear-ended by someone texting and driving. No, just just stop texting for a minute. Sit down, do it, or stand aside. You know, don't move. <laughs> you're going to get hit by a car if you're like that. Well, it happens every year, too. If you, like, there were signs up that literally says uh, there's there's, like, a group of people that are, like, anti-texting and walking at the school, too. There, there's, like, a literally, like, signs for it because it just... Literally inefficient. It just slows everything down. And they'll, like... I know people will pull up next to you and just freaking lay on their horns if they see you texting and driving. I have seen that before. Because they, they, like, stop at red light, green lights and will sit there texting throughout an entire green light. I'm sorry. I sit in 35 minutes of traffic to go 10 minutes home. It's ridiculous. So that's my anecdote of the day. Let me know what you guys feel like in the comments down below. Um, I'm kind of lost. I don't really remember where it is. Is isn't it to the left? Uh, it's uh, up over here. I thought it was in the valley over here on the left. No, it's well, we're directly in front of us. We're still in the valley to the left. It is in the valley to the left. Okay. <laughs> now the problem is the raptors outside. Yeah, are there raptors out here? There is. I see them right in front of us. How many of them are alpha, but Don't jump on me, please. None of them are alpha. So... Murder them. Oh yeah, we heal like crazy when we eat something that's dead you pick them up and then kill them you heal like crazy your mount yeah that counts that's ridiculous that that counts if you eat the body not if you kill them if you yeah but i body. kill them and eat them in the sky so it just eats their body all right i'm gonna actually park mine kind of like up here And whistle past it because they can't get it up there. Yeah, there you go. Whistle past it. Nice. All right, so you have the meat bait, so you should go first. Well, that was quick. So if you can just like throw down a couple, uh, attach a couple to an arrow before we turn a corner, just shoot one out. You know what uh. I mean? I didn't bring crossbow. I do. So give me a couple of meat baits. And now supposedly we can do this in our inventory. Supposedly. I do not know how that works. Maybe drag it onto the crossbow? Yeah, I tried that. Is it now in our inventory? Let me look. Arrow. Nope. Bait. 
wondering let me look at I'm reading I'm reading if I put it next to an arrow in my inventory maybe hmm not really sure supposedly we're supposed to be able to attach it on the fly I'm not really sure. All right, we're moving. I was trying to do it like the balloon method. Ah. Is that a dodo? Is that a dodo? I just heard a dodo call out. It's a dodo. Uh, it's feeling awfully empty. And that's actually it is terrifying. Empty. It's usually populates when you're on the way out which is more terrifying than anything yes that's for the way out <laughs> hello anyone down there I mean, what the heck is going on here, dude? Did someone just clear? Is there any? No, there's no one on the server. This is. Ah! Spider! Oh. Uh, tameable, by the way. It's gonna die, it's a spider. Dead gem. I went the other way, and I'm kind of going to regret it, I think. Oh, centipede. I'm in a bad spot. Dude, I'm terrified of everything in caves. I don't know why I even go in them. We have to. Level 104 Arthur dead. Jeez. I have not. I'm going on a killing spree right now. I mean. Please, for the love of God, Scorpion. All right, don't jump down there because that's going to require us to go all the way around to get back. I see a spider. Scorpion, a spider. Now I hear a snake. There is a snake underneath us. Don't get hit by that. Let's continue yeah, down this way. Spider. Spider. I mean, throw down a piece of meat up here. Tame it. We don't have to deal with spiders. Oh. Eh, too late. Kill it. Pick up the bait. What we gotta do is, like, put it down, run away. Wish I could figure out how to do the arrow thing. Yeah. I just, I don't. It says you can do it on the fly now. Maybe the server didn't update being able to do that. I got one prime meat arrow. On me. Oh. What? Uh. I just got a thing saying a spider ate one of my baits. Oh, really? Yeah, it could be the start of a lasting friendship. <laughs> That's good. I ain't going in that water. I know what's in there. 
Yeah, so do I. There's a spider nearby. Or, uh, snake. We go left or right? I'm pretty sure left leads to the artifact. Oh. I'm more looking for a dung beetle. Run away, run away, run away. You gotta lose aggro. Well, that ain't happening. I booked it to the other side. Nope, that definitely not happening. Why, they caught you? Uh, there's multiple on me. Well, I made it to the artifact. Uh oh. Dung beetle! Oh. Hey, buddy. I found a dung beetle standing next to the artifact. So this is where you hang out. Head it. Alright, artifact. I ain't carrying you. No, we're not gonna need it. Oh. Alright, I'm coming back to lot where I last saw you. Oh, I wouldn't if I were you. Why? going on in there <laughs> did you find a dung beetle uh oh nope found a level 112 scorpion though oh I see damage numbers oh I see another dung beetle you sit there Jim see a spider. Uh, we may have a problem. What's going on? Well, this scorpion I can't kill. Oh, I, I killed it. Alright, well, if you come back to where the, you were taming a spider that I murdered. Um, that, that's way bad. Well, Matt, where we you went left, I went right. Uh, I was up near the entrance. Were you? Well, I got two dung beetles. One needs. They both need carrying. Well, I'm coming. All right, Jim and Bob. I have caps like on Jim. <laughs> nah, Jim. Jim always gets lost. Who was it that used to lose the dung beetle, and I called it Jim? The missing adventures uh, of Jim. <laughs> uh oh. Don't die, Dax. I hope. I'm trying not to. I'm assisting. It's a 112. Got you. It's alright. Jim, Bob, meet your family. Oh, they don't do as much torpor damage as they used to. Grab Bob. Where? It must be stuck somewhere. I got Jim. Don't worry. Let's go. Echo. Point me the right way, Jim. 
Uh huh. Why do we grab it by its buttocks? Our hands are literally yep. inserted, both hands, into its buttocks. Yep. They're also, like, enjoying it way too much. Two men. Two be dung beetles. Hands in butt. Holding the buttocks firmly. It is, J Jim, you have a firm butt. Very firm. Do, 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 do. This is how I want to greet people. Is grabbing onto a dung beetle's ass and just, hey, look at this. This is mine. He has a firm butt. Yeah. Uh, uh, up, up, squats. One and two and one and two and. Right. Gotta get my butt looking good, you know? <sighs> Do them squats. I mean, it's better than the, the wearing of Dodo butt on head. <laughs> How do you pick up your dodo? I insert head into butt. Done. Are those rare mushrooms? Have you picked those? No. You sure? Yep. I got stoned when trying to pick them. <laughs> do you hear that dodo? It's an uncomfortable dodo in this cave somewhere. Actually, it's probably the ghost of the dodos. I once knew a man who lived in this in cave. This huh? In this wall, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> we have escaped. Ah, uh, hmm. we're very close to water above, the, below the surface. Like, where we are, there's water. There's a dodo in that water. Oh. I cave visioned. Cheater. Supposed to keep it creepy. I mean, yeah, it's totally ghosts. Ghost dodo. Dodos. Let's go, Jim. Fly Jim home to the farm. Lock him in a cage. Basic rules. Do you lock him in a cage or do you just kind of have him wander around a greenhouse? Um, I don't usually put them in the greenhouse. I usually have an area around the greenhouse, so I just let them wander. Huh. Alright, guys. Well, we went in the caves today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want more anecdotes, just let me know down in the comments and how you feel about texting and walking. Till next time, guys. I've been Demo. Have a wonderful day, everybody.